Don't forget to click that subscribe button for me. Also, turn on post notifications so you won't miss any upcoming videos when I post. Had to ride with my homeboys, had the gun out the window. I be blowing like Endo. Hold up. Play a bitch like Nintendo. If you can't play me, you see me. Niggas hate wanna be me. Pull up, fit on the block. Get the busting like Jeezy. Niggas swear that they hot. But they snitched the police. Niggas said that they gangster. What's good, YouTube? So, as you can see, man, I be posting some screenshots throughout the whole video. So, uh, today, man, it's kind of been a little rough day, but it is what it is, man. That little, I guess, incident ain't going to stop me from making no money or whatever, dog. You know, real hustler going to get this. But, man, long story short, Today, uh, dealing with 2K Scan Police, man, I really ain't want to make this video, but, uh, you know, that was kind of unprofessional on their behalf, and they trying to basically make me look bad. They didn't not necessarily, like, said I wasn't legit, but just bear with me, and let me tell you guys the story. So, guys, man, I've been doing, like, this gaming stuff. Throughout the years, since like 2016, 2017, but I really like took it seriously, like full time, like the end of probably like midway part of 2019 or like the end of 2019. So within like a good like year, I kind of been like taking it serious. So, yeah, man, uh, when I found out about 2K Scan Police. They was like, yeah, that's more legit. You should have uh, more clients and stuff like that. All I had to do was at them, which on Twitter is mention them. So I was like, man, you know, I'm doing good. I don't need it, dog. I Look, remind you guys, man, I already had a little clientele fan base before I started mentioning 2K Scam Police. So I done did over like. 50 plus orders without mentioning them so that's one right there i don't need them so they can't make it seem like oh i needed them stuff like that etc but yeah i'm not gonna really get into that i'm gonna let y'all know what's up what happened so man in the past three years i had a total of maybe two no more than three incidents where they try to make it seem like i scammed them the first time was like back in the day, like Destiny 2 beta codes where somebody was like the codes didn't work, et cetera, like that. Then was whole time. They was a fresh batch and I gave them an extra like 10 codes. So that's what it was. They were just being greedy. I found out uh, from somebody, uh, a friend of their friend that they was like, yeah, they gave them a code and they sent a screenshot and it was basically the codes I sent them. So boom, that one right there. That took that scam shit out the way. So I was like, all right, back. You know, I'm straight. And then when I started doing 2K, it was one incident within the last, like, four, four to five months where I wasn't able to grind do account on Xbox. So um, he mentioned 2K scam police and stuff like that. And then I had gave him a full refund, which was like $160. So... That was the official 2K, uh, I guess, fake me out scam notice alert or something like that. Then on top of that, a couple months ago, man, I had somebody named Sam, Sammy. I don't even know the dude's name is, but he hit me up on Twitter. It was like, do I do, like, rep overall stuff? So I said, yeah, you know, I gave him a price of $200. Remind you guys, man, uh, this was like, the end of December, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like the first month of January. I got screenshots and all that stuff. You, you'll you see it. But uh, I'm not sure where it's going to be placed at. I might just do it at the end of the video so y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, man, I had screenshots. I sent them messages from like the beginning of January. Long story short, he finally hit me back up 
now, which is, what is it? Uh, what, April? During February, March, April? Yeah, it's April. I'm tripping. So he finally hit me up after basically two months of not, like, hearing anything from him. So as soon as I made a tweet, I was like, was Dead A2 TV legit? I need vouchers. He damn wanted to try to, like, fake expose me and say, oh, I paid this dude $200 and he never gave me my, uh, you know, my money's worth. First of all, the first week I explained to him I had internet issues. So I was like, look, when I get that situated, I can, you know, still continue and get his, uh, I guess he wanted me to get him to like All Star 2 or 3 or Superstar, one of them, them crazy goddamn, uh, reps. So I told him, yeah, man, I can do it. He then paid me the money. I had issues issues with uh my internet I explained to him and stuff like that and i said yeah did you still want me to continue doing like rep and stuff like that when i can remind you guys all he said was yeah all right so how am i supposed to know how much rep should i still get or do he want a refund like am i wrong for that like so i just said man i haven't heard from him like within a couple of days then it turned into weeks so i said man you know what i'm gonna just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna still keep his account info on my PlayStation, and whenever he hit me up, boom, I can do services. So then that's when he sent the messages and was like, uh, he replied to my well, he quoted my tweet and was like, Yeah, man, I paid him 200, blah blah blah. And I'm like, Dude, that was two months ago, you should have been hit me up. First of all, he should have just sent me a DM. And was like, oh, yeah, dude, can you at least try to finish my stuff like that? That would have been more professional. But he went the wrong way about it. So, And I was like, yeah, he tried to base me and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, cuz, blah, blah, blah. He sent screenshots to 2K Scan Police, which I don't need. I just started using him. Just, well, I'm not even going to say using him. I just started mentioning him just to make it, like, look a little bit more uh, legitimate and, like, professional. So I was like, hey, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I done completed over 25 to 50 orders average before I started mentioning 2K Scan Police. And the total, I might, don't get me wrong, I got a couple gigs off of 2K Scan Police, but it wasn't like nothing crazy. i probably say maybe like five gigs, nothing like how y'all think it would be. Five gigs out of like 75, 80. Come on now, what is that? And over like 100 completed gigs. That, so that ain't nothing. So, man, uh, the dude tweeted some screenshots of the messages, stuff like that. So, this bum, 2K Scan Police, was like, yeah, that's the second time that that happened, that I heard about it. Remind you guys, he know about the refund. He saw the tweets about me sending the first dude the refund because I wasn't able to do it. So he just completely ignored that and was like, basically, he just said, yeah, fuck that nigga, man. I'm going to just go ahead and say he ain't legit and block him. So I was like, all right, right. All right, you know, I ain't tripping about it. But then, man, people started hitting me up and was like, oh, yeah, man, you got exposed, blah, blah, blah. So I just want to know is, uh, was I wrong or what? And I want to know, is Day Day 2 TV actually legit? I clearly told the dude in a message, I said, look, man, even though you like two months late, I, I still had your account information on my PlayStation. I don't mind still doing the rep and stuff like that, but you should have been told me like two months ago. So I did my part and, you know, I'm a man of my word. I still had his info uh, information on my PlayStation. So I, I told him, I said, yeah, man, I wouldn't mind giving him, giving him the refund. Or, like, some type of refund, blah, 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 even though he two months late. And it's, like, a no refund policy. So, that was on him. And I told him I would still get his rep. So, man, he over here talking, throwing dirt on my name and all that stuff. Uh, so, I was like, all right, man, forget it. So, I blocked, I blocked the dude. And, yeah, man, long story short, I just wanted to know if, uh, if that was a, a good wise the uh, decision choice as a businessman or what but uh yeah man i did what i had to do man he started throwing dirt on my name knowing daggone way that was his fault for instance it's just like you going to GameStop. 
you be like, yeah, man, uh, I want like the hottest new game out. You had sixty dollars. You think the GameStop employee going to say, oh, uh, well, here go one game. It can be like Uncharted or something the whole time. You're going to be like, oh, well, this is not what I want. You think they still going to accept the money uh, for a game that you don't want? They might, but then again, you're not giving them specific information on like, do you want it, uh, a shooting game, action game? Uh, whatever, puzzle game, etc. So, I just want to know, man, was I wrong? And is Day Day 2 TV legit? If you ever done service with me, through me before, let me know in the comment section. Even if it had been back in the day, like beta codes, uh, PSN codes, VC codes, Xbox codes, Uber codes, uh, their badge grinding for you, rep services, sold accounts. Whatever it been, whatever it might have been, just let me know in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll definitely be checking y'all responses. And I'll be replying back to a few of you guys throughout the day. So I just had to get this off my chest, man. But, uh, yeah, man, it is what it is. I'm going to still get my money, make my money regardless, dog. So um, I blocked the dude and just said... Fuck it. But I'm out, man. Peace.